All right, hello everyone. Um, <clears throat> in this project, we will be sort of taking a look at the family dynamics um, in both Jitney and Fences and the relationship between Booster and Becker. And um, of course, uh, Troy and Corey. Um, and so I also am going to be baking some biscuits, um, as to me it seemed like they were sort of uh, in fences, um, eating biscuits, and definitely weekly, if not almost daily to me it seemed. Um, so I thought that would be sort of an interesting uh, thing to sort of include, um, and I haven't baked them yet, but hopefully they turn out good. Um, so, um, first I want to talk a bit about the sort of barriers faced, um, in Fences. Um, sort of interesting play on the sort of title of Fence being sort of a barrier. Um, uh, but so Troy, of course, faced many sort of syst systemic barriers in his life. Um, but mostly, um, and especially what's focused on in this book, him not being able to play in the, uh, major leagues in baseball and being forced to play in the sort of, uh, Negro League. And then when Jackie Robinson, of course did end up breaking the color barrier in baseball. Troy was kind of in his 40s, or at least late 30s. Um, so it would have been too late for him to sort of pursue that career as he once dreamed, sort of relegating him to a life as a garbage collector, which really is a far cry from what it could have been had he been given the opportunity to participate in sort of a meritocracy instead of a league that was so racially divided. Um, so after him living a life sort of being stunted by these socioeconomic barriers, he enacts these sort of same barriers um, upon his own son, uh, not allowing him to chase his dreams of uh, sort of playing football in the same way that society prevented Troy from chasing his dreams of playing uh, in major leagues of baseball. Um, and we can even see these sort of same barriers through Troy's father, who was a sharecropper, essentially forcing him into a sort of system that never allowed him to truly have enough money to really do anything other than be desperate to make more money. Um, and I think this really parallels these sort of systemic dynamics in the relationship between uh, Booster and Becker and uh, Jitney by August Wilson, as Booster is a victim of false rape accusations. Um, and I think it's sort of interesting to ponder and think that, at least in my opinion, is certainly such an accusation wouldn't have been levied, or at least there's less of a chance that it would have been levied uh, against um, Booster had he been um, a young white man instead of a young black man. Um, and then I wanted to sort of include some dialogue here um, from Jitney that really shows the sort of the pain that... Um, is in the relationship between Booster and Becker, as um, Becker says, sort of stay away from me. What do I get? Tell me. I get a murder. That's it. A murder. Talking about his own son. He's also, in, in, at this point, sort of castigating blame on um, Booster for the death of his wife and his mother, uh, Booster's mother, um, really emulating the pain that sort of came out as Booster tried to make a sort of reconciliation attempt. Um, and this is really the biggest difference between uh, Jitney and um, Fences, excuse me, as um, in Jitney, this sort of reconciliation attempt is denied, um, whereas in Fences, um, this sort of, the final sort of few scenes as, um, uh, excuse me, as Gabe, the brother of Troy, um, is sort of singing and dancing and trying to play his trumpets, which sort of is a symbolic, um, like, forgiveness. Um, and the opening of the gates of heaven, which sort of shows that Troy is sort of redeemed um, in the end, despite all of his wrongdoings. Um, and that definitely contrasts Becker, whose death seemed a bit more meaningless. Um, and he definitely was not redeemed in the end. So to me, this is really what makes um, Fences a much sort of stronger piece of literature in the history um, of American literature, especially in that it's sort of, the sort of idea of forgiveness and moving on, I think is extremely pertinent. Um, 
in the sort of black community and that there is obviously much debate over something like reparations, whereas um, that's sort of a debate over whether the whole, the community as a whole should sort of move on from the 400 years of um, horrendous treatment by the white ruling class in this country. And I think this is sort of uh, Wilson's attempt to critique or sort of throw out the idea that moving on, at least emotionally, from so much of this trauma is not a bad way to go. Now, of course, the counter argument could be made that until this trauma is really truly processed, um, that moving on is really just going to be a facade. Um, but in the end, I think that the redemption of Troy is what separates fences um, from Jitney and makes it a uh, significantly better work.